All right, so it has gotten colder. Now the question is, as we were saying, when's it going to get colder? When's it going to get colder? How cold? <laughs> it's gotten cooler. It's it hasn't gotten colder. Well, you know. Now, it's tomorrow all, it's morning. all relative. <laughs> tomorrow morning you could say it's gotten colder. Okay. Because it is going to be cold, especially on the north shore. Uh, since we're talking temperatures, let me show you the temperatures. This is our regional map here, and it's as colder. you can see, it's colder. Look at that. 41 Shreveport, Monroe, 45 Alexandria, Lake Charles, 48 Baton Rouge. 58 around uh, New Orleans International. And look how much cooler we are. We're as much as 28 cooler, 28 degrees cooler right now in Baton Rouge compared to this time yesterday. 15 at the airport in Kenner. So these were today's low temperatures. All right, so 46 in Slidell. 45 in Hammond. 58 at the airport. All right, so this seems pretty cold, right? It's going to be even colder by tomorrow. Take a look at our high temperatures. These actually occurred uh, in the late morning or actually actually in the early morning, right about eight o'clock and those lows I just showed you. There are actually some of the lows that occurred as we got into the evening hours. Some of the temperatures that occurred in the evening hours and we are going to continue to cool. Take a look here in southeast Louisiana, 44 in Bat uh, Bogalusa, 50. 50, 50, 43 in Hammond, 50 in Gulfport, 61 at the lakefront. The lake moderating the temperature there in 48 at this hour in Bell Chase. And we are trending way cooler as well. 31 degrees cooler right now compared to yesterday. Look, the map is purple. That's how much cooler we are. 25 in Bell Chase, 12 degrees cooler in Boothville. Told you the winds were going to relax, and for the most part, they have, with the exception of the lakefront and Grand Isle. Again, close to the bodies of water. That's what happens. But for the most part, the winds will relax, the skies will clear, and that provides optimal cooling. So, Cooler, drier air is in the process of moving in right now. We're going to go with a couple of cold mornings and we'll call it some coolish afternoons. And unfortunately, it looks like rain is going to return during the afternoon. And oh, yeah, by the way, have you heard today is the last day of hurricane season? You can see behind me it is quiet. No more, no moss. We're done till next June. 12 is the average as far as storms go. 15 is what we hit this year. Six hurricanes is the average. We hit seven and three major hurricanes. That's the average we actually had three so pretty much average for hurricanes and major hurricanes although storms we actually were above the average this is the first time that's happened since 2012 now Taking a look at the water vapor satellite picture, this area of low pressure, which generated all that rain, that's moving on out. Let's look westward, young man. Take a look. So we've got this ridge. This disturbance is going to rise up and over, and watch what it's going to do over time. It's going to sag down to the south. Area of low pressure is going to develop. It is going to get pinched off. So we call this a cutoff low. And here's what happens typically with a cutoff low. It's slow to move out, but we're going to get these little disturbances starting to spit off that low. Here's one little wrinkle right here and this is on Monday so probably about Saturday heading into Sunday and Monday and even into Tuesday and possibly Wednesday we're going to be moving into kind of an unsettled weather pattern not so much for tonight we're going to be cool north shore upper 30s for the mo uh, most part south shore now we'll call it mid to upper 40s probably gonna need a jacket and maybe a sweater tomorrow it'll be a nice day lots of sunshine but notice how cool we're going to be low to mid 60s and we'll keep it like that through about Friday 30% chance of rain on Saturday. That might be a little generous, but definitely by the time Sunday gets here into Monday, maybe a break on Tuesday, another round of rain next Wednesday. Like I said, a bit of an unsettled weather pattern, but temperatures will stay fairly seasonal at least through the weekend.